What's going on everyone? In today's video, we're going over the top 10 best suburbs around Grand Rapids, Michigan. So stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Kevin Irwin. This is Ross Young. Ross Young, we are real estate agents here in the West Michigan area for Freedom Home Group. On this channel, we go over anything and everything that has to do with living and thriving here in the West Michigan area. So if you're looking to move here, or maybe you already live here and you're looking to make a move, we get reach outs almost every single week from people that want to relocate here or looking to make a move. So do not hesitate to give us a call, send us a text, send us an email, even send the pigeon carrier if you have to. <laughs> we have your back when it comes to making a move in Michigan. And we love helping people out. Absolutely. I mean, that's what we do every single day. Every day. So without further ado, let's get into this video. The top 10 best suburbs here around Grand Rapids. We go all over the place, you know, really. It, this list is very comprehensive. I, you know, we're gonna be doing a spotlight on each one of these towns, so don't feel like you need to, you know, get all the information just from this one video. We're gonna do individual videos for each area, and it's gonna be awesome. It is. And these top 10, we actually went to each one of these suburbs and did a little bit of, you know, what it's like to live there, you know, what's what are the unique features of those different suburbs, just so you could get an idea of what, what you're gonna like and maybe you can narrow it down so we're gonna go through every single one of these top 10 go real quick. in depth uh, real quick in this video yeah. and then we're gonna go in depth and separate ones so make sure you hit that subscribe button hit like that little bell like. yeah like if you like or don't like whatever um, <laughs> hit that little subscribe button and hit the bell notification to so get notified whenever we put the new ones out so let's jump into number 10 Granville, Granville. now Granville is awesome you know Whenever you think, you know, if you're up from around here, whenever you think Granville, you think shopping, you think restaurants, you think things to do, you know, and you know, all the all the towns on our list all have top rated schools. Yes. That's one thing yeah. that's very consistent with any of our any of our top ten here. They all have top rated schools, so don't you don't have to worry about that. No, absolutely. And Ross and I are both from West Michigan. We we've lived here our entire lives. When I talk to my wife, we want to go out to here, we want to go shopping probably eight out of 10 times, we're coming to Granville. I mean, they've got a huge mall. When you go down 44th Street, it's just nothing but shopping. Um, our favorite restaurants down there, honey, you'll like this one. Um, on, on the, the border, border is our, our favorite restaurant, that's down there. It's just a really, really nice place to go shopping, go get something hey, to eat, and go home. You can't forget about Cabela's. Oh shoot. Yeah. Cabela's. 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 Yeah. I mean, Cabela's is huge. We got Cabela's down there. We've got everything. There's Duluth and... Yep, Duluth yeah, is Duluth, in Granville. Duluth Trading Co. They've got pretty much everything. Best of course, guy. the Jeep dealership. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so literally, Granville is like the shopping district. Um, <laughs> there is a lot of places to live here, too, so don't, don't think that you can't find a house here in Granville. There's a lot of it. Why don't you talk about housing a little bit, Ross? You know, Granville's really kind of built out already, so you're not really going to find a whole lot of new houses, but the houses here are, you know, by far, you know, old. You know, there's there's a lot far of... Old, huh? <laughs> by far They're old, They're all just ancient. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to cut that part out. Why I like it. <laughs> <laughs> so, what you're going to find here in Granville is, you know, a lot of the houses are already pre-existing. There's not going to be a whole lot of new development because everything's already pretty much built out. You know, as far as what the feel of the, the city goes, or the suburb of Grand Rapids. So what you're going to find is, you know, just a little bit newer to, you know, a little bit older homes, but you're not going to really find brand new stuff in Granville. You know, there's a couple of places on our list here that you're going to find exactly what you're looking for when you're looking to do a new build. Yeah, absolutely. So let's move on to number nine. All right, so number nine on our list is Jenison. All right, so here's how I want you to think about Jenison. It is just north, last clip I said south, it is just north of Hudsonville. In fact, we're only like five to eight miles north of Hudsonville where we just were. So, Jenison. When I think of Jenison living in West Michigan my whole life, I think of, you know, retiree community. It's starting to get more saturated with young professionals. Um, this, the sports are really, really good here. So, yep. you know. Yeah. 
most of Genesis, you're going to find older homes, but they have some newer, newer uh, sub-developments going in. Uh, just on the outside of town, you're gonna you're gonna feel more like a suburbia area, and then once you start heading west, it's gonna feel more like rural farmland. Yes, um, Jenison also is the home of a very large college, Grand Valley State University. Uh, to the north, up in Allendale, yep. Allendale is more of a college town. It's, I don't think that's why I didn't really make the list, but you know it's the next town over. So if you have older kids that are gonna be looking to go to college, it is a great community to to find your roots yeah absolutely I mean there was a community we just bought our four-wheeler over by Grand Valley and I would hands down buy a house in that community they've got a bunch of developments where they actually dug out man-made lakes hmm. and when we were there everybody was out jet skiing boating um, just having a great time and you know it's just it's a very friendly fam uh, very family Family friendly <laughs> that area. Thing. Yeah, family friendly area for you to come check out. So make sure if you are moving to this area that you at least drive through Hudsonville and Jenison and Allendale. They're all connected in together. You know, kind of decide which one fits your family. All right, guys. Number eight is Caledonia. Caledonia is a farming community, but it's quickly on its way up in the scale of the places to be here in West Michigan. Um, there's a lot of brand new housing in here in Caledonia, but there's also some affordab affordable houses. You're just gonna have to search for them. So Ross, where is Caledonia in relation to Grand Rapids? Oh, right now we are to the southeast of Grand Rapids, kind of directly south, to the, a little bit to the east. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's positioned right on the main thoroughway, M37, so you can easily get to Grand Rapids and Absolutely. easily go even south. You know, just to, the, just to the west, you got 131, you can take that north or south. And what's really interesting is, like you said, you know, it's, it's predominantly a farming community, yep. but there's a lot of new developments that are happening. And you know, with Caledonia schools, you know, you have a whole campus that has a lot of the schools already right there, all in one spot. So you don't have yeah. to go very far when they switch from one grade to the next. And like we've said on a lot of the other videos for the suburbs, Caledonia also has a very good sports program, a very good school system. So realistically, any of the 10 places on this list, you're going to have good schools. So I would not worry about that portion of it. Um, side note, if you're wondering why both of us have changed clothes <laughs> multiple times, it's because we hit all 10 of these in the communities and it took a little bit. So we're on day three of shooting and we're almost done. So anyways. Nothing but the best. Yep. All right, so number seven on the list is Hudsonville. Now, Hudsonville is known as the Salad Bowl City. And the reason why that is, is because we have a lot of river bottom muck fields in the area and we grow a lot of uh, celery, lettuce, anything that goes in your salad. You know, it's kind of a play off the geography and what we what's primarily grown here. Yeah. So the population of this city, guys, is right around <laughs> 7,400. Um, that is really just the general Hudsonville. It does go on to the outskirts a little bit, so the population is probably a little bit higher than that. But you're going to get a mixture of different homes. Downtown Hudsonville, your homes are going to be stacked on top of each other a little bit more. A little bit older. A little bit older. You get outside of downtown Hudsonville, and you're going to find a lot of communities, a lot of developments that have brand new housing. So if you're looking for a new build, this is probably a pretty good place to check out. And you know, a really interesting thing about Hudsonville is that it's kind of separated from north and south. Yeah. You know, you have Chicago Drive that runs east and west, and you have the railroad tracks right there. It's kind of a, uh, a man-made barrier in between the two sides of the city. To the south, you have Jamestown. To the north, you have Georgetown Township. In Georgetown Township, we have a little bit older homes, still newer. Then down in Jamestown, you have more of a rural feel, more of a uh, farmland sort of area. Can you tell that he's from Hudsonville? <laughs> <laughs> um, one last thing we want to cover here in Hudsonville is this is the home the Harley Davidson dealership. So for you motorcycle lovers, you got your dealership right here. So number six on our list is Rockford, Rockford, Michigan, with a population of about 6,300 people. You know, Rockford is a great place to live. Um, so guys, Rockford, I was born and raised in this area. I was actually just north of here is Cedar Springs, but Rockford in general is just it's such a great place to be. Uh, tons of walkability. The Rockford Dam is here, absolutely beautiful to walk around there. You got kayaking down the river. Um, downtown Rockford is super, super walkable. Tons of different restaurants. There's like two or three breweries in the area. So if you're a beer lover, it's a great place to be. Um, Ross, chit chat about the schools a little bit. The schools are top rated. You know, yeah. much like everything else, all the other towns that we're reviewing in this video, you know, the schools are top rated. The school, the sports system is amazing. Yeah. And I, it's hard for me to say that because I was 
from a rival school of Rockford, but you know they have a very good program. Um, the hurt strength and conditioning. I remember probably I don't know eight nine years ago. I got to see their weight room and my jaw just went. You know, <laughs> it it seriously they have a great sports program. It is a bigger school, so if that is something that you care about, keep that in mind. But at the same time, it's a very very good school system. So yeah, let's move on to the next one. On the next. Number five on our list is Byron Center, Michigan. Now, what's really, really unique about Byron Center is that it's a very small town, but it feels like a very small town with the downtown area, very walkable, and but we have a lot of mix of houses in here. Yeah, there's a lot of new builds. There's also a lot of existing housing, so you guys are gonna find a little bit of a mixture of different price housing in this area. Um, one of the really cool things about Byron Center is if you're a shopper, Tanger, Tangler, Tanger, Tanger however you want to say it, that <laughs> national outlet mall is was just built in Byron Center, Michigan. And if you like to go fast in golf carts or go-karts, there's a new Grand Prix go-kart. Grand Rapids Grand Prix. Yeah, that, that place is sweet. You, gotta, you guys got to check that out. But anyways, it's just a very walkable, very good feeling community. It's got some of the top rated schools here in the area, and it's super close to 131. You also have a lot of biking trails and a lot of, a lot of uh, walking trails. You know, yep. with Kent Trails, goes from downtown Byron Center all the way up to John Ball Zoo, all the way in downtown Grand Rapids. Yeah. So yeah. You're, you feel connected, you know, whether you're driving in a car with M6, 131, or you can jump on the bike and head out. Absolutely. All right, moving on. Number four. Number four on our list is Coast Guard City, USA. You got it, it is Grand Haven, Michigan. As we are standing right in front of the outlet of the Grand River out into Lake Michigan, there is so much stuff to do here in Grand Haven. You have got to put this on your list to come check out. Miles of beaches, um, there's a campground right off from the lake. Population here in Grand Haven is right around 11,000, so it's saturated but not too saturated. Still plenty of places to come check it out. So people who are from Grand Haven, they know that they have such a gem in West Michigan with a downtown area where you can walk all the way to the beach. And a big attraction during the summer is Coast Guard Festival. Yeah, our family absolutely loves the Coast Guard Festival. Unfortunately, this year it was canceled, but it is a hoot. There is a probably 100,000 people that come down here. The fireworks. 300, 100, 300, whatever. The fireworks <laughs> display that's on the um, mound right behind us is absolutely phenomenal. It's a great place. There's tons of vendors, tons of food trucks. It's just a great place. And the cool thing is you can walk it all. Like the pier goes all the way up and down. You can walk the entire boardwalk. The whole, the whole purpose of this festival is to honor the men and women in the Coast Guard. Yes, So yep, absolutely. Thanks for your service, guys. If you're watching, you are with the Coast Guard. So. So we're definitely going to be doing a very in-depth video on Grand Haven. So if this does interest you, make sure you throw it down in the comics. Let's go on to the next one, Ross. Number three, we are in Zealand. Feel the zeal. That's on all their signs. I have no idea what it means. But no, I don't joke. either. On the website, we couldn't figure it out. But anyways, Zealand, what is it? Aside, all joking aside, Zealand has a population roughly about 6,000 people. You know, you actually have two high schools in New Zealand. You have East and West High School, which are actually right next to each other. Kind of weird, but it works. So downtown Zealand, you're gonna have a very upscale feel with a lot of walkability, but you know, the houses are gonna be a lot more country feelish. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. You know, you're gonna you're gonna be able to have a little bit more property. You know, things are gonna be a little bit further apart. You might not be able to see your neighbor. There's gonna be a lot of more farmland. You know, it's, it's all depends on what you guys feel like you need. One of the other cool uh, points of Zealand is you're right in the middle of Grand Rapids and the Lake Shore. So if you wanna go swimming or go boating during the summertime, you've only got like a 20 minute drive. If you wanna work in Grand Rapids, it's only about a 20, 30 minute drive also. But the other cool thing about Zealand is there is a huge industrial park here. So there's tons of opportunities for jobs right in Zealand. Just to name a few of the places, Gentex, Herman Miller are some of the bigger ones that are in the area. So make sure that you guys check out Feel the Zeal. You bet. All right, so number two on our list is Ada. Ada is in Forest Hills, which Forest Hills covers a lot bigger area than Ada, but number two on the list is Ada, Michigan. Um, there's about 13,000 people right here in Ada. It's an absolute wonderful place to live. Talk about it a little bit, Ross. It is absolutely beautiful. You know, in Ada, you're gonna find there's a lot of tree cover. You know, it's not gonna be open fields and things like that, which you're gonna find a lot on the other side of Grand Rapids. This is very hilly. 
uh, very tree covered, and he actually had two convergence of the Green River and the Thornapple River. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it really is a cool place to live. They have an entire new downtown that they have created that is super, super walkable. A ton of shops down there, a ton of food, you know. When you're in Ada, it just makes you feel like you just want to get outdoors, go explore. Um, there is over a thousand acres of public land here in Ada. And with miles. Of miles of trails. So it's, it's absolutely beautiful. You guys got to check it out. So when you're making a move, check this one out for sure. Yeah, absolutely, guys. All right, let's go to number one. We really appreciate you guys sticking around this long. Number one on our list is the birthplace of former President Gerald R. Ford. That is the one and only East Grand Rapids. Now this town is consistently at the top, you know, for a number of years. And there's very good reason. Yeah. East Grand Rapids, guys, th this is one of the best places in West Michigan to live and thrive in. Now this is also one of the most expensive places in West Michigan to live in. The average price point in East Grand Rapids is right around like $430,000. You're gonna find a wide variety, mixture of homes here. You're gonna find a lot of vintage, large homes. Um, you, you can be driving down East Grand Rapids and you can see a vintage home and then somebody tore a home down right next to it and built a million dollar house. Um, this, you know, if you're a water lover, you have got to check out Reed's Lake. There is a bunch of amazing real estate on Reed's Lake. A lot of million dollar houses. You know. And the school's right on the lake too. Yeah, the school's right on the lake. Right, right, right in down by Gaslight Village it is just a beautiful area. Yeah, Gaslight Village, very walkable. Um, one thing that you know should probably keep in mind: this is a, this is young professionals, um, healthcare workers, because it's not that far down from Medical Mile downtown Grand Rapids. So, and what what you're going to find is that you know East Grand Rapids and Ada, the last one we just talked about, are very similar because they're literally one town apart. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Next town over from here is Ada. Yeah. Yep, so you know what guys, we really, really appreciate you sticking around in this video. We know that this was just a very quick overview of these top 10 suburbs, and we are going to be going in depth on all of these. So we want to hear from you. If you are interested in West Michigan, if you want any more information, maybe you already live here, you're interested in a different part of town, let us know in the comment sections. You know, give us a call, send us a text, send us an email, send the pigeon care if you have to. <laughs> Whatever you have to do, Ross and I have your back when it comes to making a move here in Michigan. Don't forget, like if you like, don't if you don't, and hit the subscribe button, the bell, then you get notified when we put new videos out. Talk to you guys soon. See you guys.